hey, 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 hey. Welcome to episode two of Life is a Blur. For the hunt for the Red October. But on a serious note, today begins at 9 a.m. In a couple of minutes, begins the hunt for a job. And we're going to go at this warrior fallen angel style. We're going to celebrate. I'm thinking like a six pack of Yoohoo to celebrate this. We're going to go nuts on this. Let's freaking do this. I applied for one of those like 24 hour pharmacies like Genovese, CVS, stuff like that. Rite Aid, like one of those chains, right? A couple days ago. So I walk in there, I had to get mouthwash, toothpaste, shampoo, stuff like, you know, it's essential stuff. So I walk up like this. Yo, you guys hiring? Because I got the kahunis to try it. Shout out to the goonies. I was going to try to rhyme, but just forget that. Let that slide. Let's go and hunt for this red October. Okay, here's the dealio. So I'm going to the first job interview, right? We're going to go there, and I thought you'd want to hear about this. The first interview, we're going to we're gonna let you know what happened. No matter what happens, we're going to let you know. Get the job or not, we're going to celebrate, get some you who maybe. But I also wanted to say, sometimes I let my fallen angel get the best of me. I was in the shower, and there was a mosquito in there. I tried to, that's... That's as far as my mercy could go. I tried to save it. Came back into the shower. No time sweating in there. The thing I said, fly to my leg. You gotta be kidding me. And if only you gonna show you mercy, son, go out and suck the blood. So I killed it. Oh well. I think this is. I. Th I think. I think. I think. I think this is kind of funny finding this at a bus stop. But so it's like. Hey, let me drink these real quick before I catch on the bus. Let me drink one of these before I go to my job interview. Yeah, right. But look what's underneath. One of these angel cards. I just got to say, I feel better bringing the camera with me. I got this ugly backpack. and But I got a shirt in there. I'm not going to the job interview like this. So will I get hired or not hired all because I have a backpack? I don't know, but I had to bring the camera. We're gonna, we're gonna give you the, 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 the video feeds in real time instead of me talking about it afterwards. This is the essence of what it is. The eagle has landed. And I wanted to say, this is a lapse of intelligence. I believe it's that because God can't do everything for us we're able-bodied. I feel like God just says, go get it. You can do it yourself. Go get it. DIY. Do it yourself. So I was going to hide my backpack. I was going to hide my video camera in the woods. Because I felt like, well, if I go to a job interview with a backpack. If I go to a job interview with a backpack. I might not get hired because it's like. You're looking like you're off the streets. So let's just get through this interview in one piece. I'm discouraged. To be honest with you, I don't know if my hyperhidrosis disorder, sweat disorder, could handle this job, but I'm gonna go for whoever hires me first and I'm gonna work hard to be the best employer for them. But, so, I mean, it went good. I mean, you can get used to these interviews. So that was the first interview. We're not going to celebrate or anything. That was nerve-wracking, I tell you. My hands are still sweating, but the funny thing is, is I was rocking back and forth on the chair like this during the interview. The boss lady was looking like... I'm thinking, what, this isn't normal? Turn rock back and forth. 
that make me a bad soul to rock back and forth? No, let's get this jobby job. But I hope you enjoyed this rendition of Life as a Blur Episode 3, Episode 2. I don't know. Over and under.